YouTube, I am back today with another makeup tutorial for beginners. And, um, okay, it is going to be a makeup tutorial for um, a rainy day. And, um, I did go ahead and apply um, some fake eyelashes, falsy eyelashes. As you can see, they're still drying. I just put them on. And um, you can go ahead and apply if you don't know what to use to apply fake eyelashes. <coughs> you can um, use this duo adhesive. Um, I have the color Clear White. And um, you can pick this up from www.allbeauty.com. And that is A L L Beauty.com. All together, okay. And as you see, it's um very gloomy today, but I love this weather, so it's okay. Um, yeah. So I did apply the fake eyelashes first, and I am also just walking a regular blind look. It's very simple for today. Okay. So first, we're gonna go ahead and. Apply our foundation, and of course, I'm using again the e.l.f. mineral primer. Not that much to do, so we want to do it really quick, or at least try to. And once again, this will be a light makeup tutorial. For light makeup because I really don't wear very much makeup today or makeup at all. So go ahead and rub in that primer. Okay. Once again, that was the Elf Mineral Face Primer. Okay. And now, I am back again with the L'Oreal True Match um, Super Blendable Makeup in a color C6, which is now a C7, okay? Because of their new um, shade that they have. You can see my eyebrows and my dry lips. Um, and again, I just use a cap bowl that looks like enough to me. More. And I just pour it, not very much, into the cap. Because you do not need very much. Okay. And I'm going to use my Elf Professional Foundation Brush right now. It is a PVC, it's very kind of glue, but I have another one of these. I just brought it just for I'll probably throw this one away. And we're gonna go ahead and do the chicken pot method all over. Make sure to get the cheese on. We don't need that much. I'm just dabbing it in and dabbing it on my face. As you can see, you can really see the color now in this lighting. And yes, it might look like it doesn't match, but it is my skin color. And it does blend in very evenly with my skin. Okay. That looks like enough to me. So we're gonna go ahead and blend that in right now. Um uh, my skin tends to be very um blotchy. I don't know if you can tell that on the camera. But yeah, it's very blotchy and this um uh, makeup does help to even out my skin tone. A lot in the blotchy areas. And it's very light. You don't need very much. And you gotta make sure you blend it really, really good so um, it doesn't look weird and out of place. So 
Okay. Make sure to blend it really, 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 really good. And yeah, really, 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 really good. Okay, and again, we're gonna go ahead and go on our neck for even tone as well. I have very blotchy skin, so yeah. Go ahead and do that so it's not too horribly blotchy. Go and make sure you get in some of the hair. Don't put it all the way in your head. But just like I said, you don't want that awkward makeup line on your face. And my last video is like in my last video. Just make sure it's all blended in every area. And this makeup does have a um, yellow undertone, which is my undertone in my skin. It's kind of yellow. So, matches perfectly, blends pretty good, and it looks pretty good. Alright, there you go. Very cute. Okay, now that you have applied the foundation, you can go over it um, with any powder that you like. Today I am using my MAC Studio Fix um, powder or foundation. No, it's powder, it's not foundation. <laughs> okay. And um, just go ahead and gently put your brush into it. Shake it off tap, whatever you choose, whatever you like to do, and just go ahead and apply it to your face, evenly on your face. And don't forget your eyes. In this video, I will be um, applying eyeshadow, and um, don't worry about it affecting the eyeshadow. Don't really do much harm to the eyeshadow. You still will be able to apply the eyeshadow, and it will stay in place. You did apply that evenly on the face, every area of your face. Not too much because you don't want to look unnatural. And I apologize for the volume. I'm trying to speak as loud as I can for this video because um, the last video it was very um, staticky like, and you can't, you couldn't really hear me. So hopefully you can hear me today in this video. And I did use my um, e.l.f. Total Face Brush, and it looks just like this. Alright. Um, now, we are going to apply our eyeshadow. And I am using the first edition um, 120 color palette eyeshadow from BH Cosmetics. And since we are going to go with a smoky eye look, we're going to, um, I want to do the outside first and then work my way in to, um, the rest of the coloring. So right now, we are going to use the eyeshadow brush, and this is just a simple makeup kit that I picked up from, from McDonald's, from Walmart, <laughs> and, um, it was only like $10 and that's like a brush set and this is like a beginner brush set 
So if you like to pick this up, you can just go ahead and find one at um, Walmart. Okay, so we are going to use the eyeshadow brush. And we're going to use this darker shade of black. Not that it really does any either, but we're going to use this one. Just so it's not too dark. Okay, let me get it on there. I don't think you can see it. But we're going to go ahead and work right here, close to the edge of the eyelid. We don't want it to look too crazy. There we go. And we go again and do it to the other side. I would have to do it together. So it'll look more even. Um, some people choose to do one eye first. I like to do them both at the same time. <coughs> For <coughs> an even look. Move it out a little bit. Okay. Try not to mess up in black because it's very difficult <laughs> to get it off. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get a napkin and shape it the way that I would like it. Okay. Ooh, that looks bad. And if that doesn't work, you can go ahead and go over the foundation brush. And that will help um, get rid of that black coloring. Okay. Now we are going to use our eyeshadow brush. Just a regular eyeshadow brush. And I am using this golden, like a pinkish, rosy, sparkly color right there. Okay. We're going to go ahead and apply it to the eyelid. I know this is a very awkward way to see my makeup. I'm not very experienced, so sorry about that. Just apply it. It might get all in your eyes. She said that is okay. Okay. Cute, very cute um look that you can get for any day. Um and we will be using our blending brush to blend in the colors. So don't worry too much about it like not looking blended. You can go ahead and do the other eye. Try to make it look as even as possible. I'm trying to get a mask so that you guys can see it in the colors. That we have. And you can actually wear this look any day, any time. I just say a rainy day because that's um what it's like today. That's the weather today, and this is how I am doing my makeup today. Okay. Now we're going to um, use our um, blending brush. It's kind of thick. I gotta find what it is. Here it is. Um, this is our Elf eye brush that I'm going to be using. And you can just use it to blend in the makeup gently. So it doesn't look too um, sectioned off and 
I'm professional. And I'm not professional, let me tell you that. Okay. This guy's a little off. 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 Candy brush. Now, um, we're gonna go ahead and go over go over with a lighter color uh, and I'm going to use my again the eyeshadow brush make sure you clean it off because it has um, black dark on it we're just going to go with over with this golden brown color and put it at the top um, And you don't want too much of this color. Because um, it does tend to look too bright. So just lightly put it on there. So like very lightly. And you do again to this side. Above the crease and a little bit in the crease as well. This doesn't like my right eye is looking better than the left eye. But that's okay, you can always go back and fix it if you don't like it. I should get see more of it. It looks like there's way more black on that eye. Or it could just be the angle. Um, and we blend some more. Yeah, there's definitely more on the other eye. If you like, you can go back and add more to this eye. Not too much. Just to even the look out. I would prefer it darker, but um, we're going for an even look. Okay. So, and you just blend it, blend it pretty well. And this is a video for beginners because I am a beginner. So, I'm pretty sure this is not the right way to do it, but this is how I'm doing it. And this is how you can do it, and it will still look pretty good. Okay. Ooh, where's the Yeah, it's probably just the angle in the lighting. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and add a little more of the gold. To the crease. Not too much, but it's not crazy. No, crazy. We don't want crazy. Be careful not to make it look crazy. But, um, I do want you to be able to see. The color. Okay, I'm gonna lightly just smooth that out. Okay, and to divine the color more, you can add a little more of the pink to the bottom. I know this looks like a lot, but you can put on however much you want. 
this is just so that you guys can see a little bit of the color more because I'm not sure how good <laughs> this camera works until or how good it's going to look until after I upload the video. Okay. So I know that probably sounds weird, but yeah, that's how it looks. Very cute. Very chic look to me. And like I said, you can go over with a napkin to oh, um, tone it down a little bit so it's not too like too crazy looking. And those are the three colors that we're using today. You don't want to look like a clown. Too many colors just doesn't look right. So just make sure it's really blended to your liking. And it won't be perfect, but it should be nearly perfect, or nearly identical to the other five. Okay. Ugh. I'm not like this one, this guy, but it's okay. Let's go ahead and blend it with me as best as you can to make it look. Okay, and there's that. 